There it is. That's the old uh, 80s synthesizer, the Oberheim that Ray played. The, the old the old analog sound, so great. You know, the intro to that song? And uh, yeah, Burning in Love. Wrote this, uh, wrote this on Curzon Avenue at, at this house that we all, we all used to, in the early days, we all used to live together in one house over on Curzon Avenue. Man, those were the days when we were getting the band together and, and all that. I remember writing this in the basement. I remember staying at your place on that coach. Yeah. You know what? Um, when I hear that, I think of the helicopter from the video. Remember the helicopter? Niagara Falls, yeah. Niagara Falls. Crazy. The helicopter right around this point right now, it's hovering and taking footage of the, you know, I'm from Niagara Falls, Honeymoon Suite. That's where the whole name came from and all that sort of stuff. But I see that helicopter right now, and then I remember on all videos how these guys get to shoot for the first day, and I'm there for two days afterwards. And Clifton Hill is a big hill, of course, mm -hmm. Clifton Hill. Mm -hmm. And I remember in the night still running up that hill to mm -hmm. get to get that shot that brings a lot of memories yeah. the video was cool yeah it was cool it was, it was we, well. rent, we rented the helicopter just so he's talking about the helicopter and they they tied a camera yeah to the yeah bottom. right right they flew it right up the niagara river right right to the edge and then over the edge and it was like wow that's cool thing to do and the other thing is when they sat you on the railing right by the sat falls me. sat him on the railing what and, and when the girl pushes him he goes back but what you couldn't see is they had him so strapped in there with yeah it's still just, it's our manager standing there going that's my meal ticket there man we can't, <laughs> we can't have johnny going over to the falls just yet that was if you think about it that's pretty that's some pretty scary stuff i mean okay so what i'm strapped but what if it like, would have came loose you know it's whatever it's Crazy. Anyways, um, another song. This again was done at Phase One, and just banged it out. And uh, oh. what what I remembered from the guitar playing aspect is we didn't when we went into Phase One, we just had our our crappy bar gear and our old guitars because we hadn't got really any money yet to buy stuff. So we recorded with what we had or we rented it. But I remember the the owner of Phase One. His name was Paul Gross. Good. I had my old 68 SG at the time, which I loved, it's since been stolen, but Paul had this beautiful SG, uh, red SG custom. You remember the SG? And we got in there. So it got stolen? No, did it not get stolen? I don't know. It not his, oh, mine yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, but right. Anyways, Paul, he, he saw mine, which was kind of beat up, and, and he said, you know, I've got this old SG. It's mine. It's in my office if you want to use it. And I'm going, really? So I opened it up, and it's like, oh, it's like all shiny, and it was an older one. And So long story short, anyways, I, I use that that uh, guitar almost this this whole album that old sg and that's when i hear that it's such a great tone so uh, that's a guitar player thing i did you know to, to like uh, the only thing i could really add is i can still hear nervousness in the vocal which i told you new girl now but the other thing the new girl now uh where did it come from one of the honeymoon suites signature i guess and we did i didn't even know it was happening and new girl now 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 that echo thing you know it's happening now 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 and now i'm hearing and and, and the second song burning in love still 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 i go i had to think well, what's going on but anyways after all these years it's like people are you know expecting it our sound guys are expecting to part do of the, it it's part of the hook yeah it's in well, there. but you think about it, i mean now i got a new girl now 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 i gotta now i'm still 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 you know okay well, we where should, are we going this way 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 babies now what you know yeah well, we should mention too the other thing i just thought of after we had such great tracks but remember we took this to england to mix yes yes uh, we, we did a we went to a little studio outside of london called the the farmyard and and uh, I forget the ins the engineer's name, but we 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 heard about this place. Taylor, t Stephen Taylor, right? Ta Taylor something. It's Taylor something. Yeah, took right. Took the tracks over there and brought it back, and we got this, and we gave him rough rough like bed mm -hmm. tracks, and what came out of that studio, we were just like Farmer. wow, and we did the same thing with the big prize. So it was that was a, a smart move. Yeah. The mix is so important. We got really lucky there. Well, there's two songs that you heard, the, the beginnings of Honeymoon Suite. I mean, geez, it's a long way back, but you know, it's still going today. Yeah. Like, I mean, things just after we signed the deal, we were just going crazy. We were so happy to be, you know, all of a sudden a, a real band with, with a record deal. They got us right in the studio. It was actually phase one That's right. in Toronto. And I think we went and cut all the beds in like two weeks. Nothing but really fond memories. We recorded that at RCA Studios on Mutual Street uh, in Toronto. I think it's been torn down now because we needed another parking lot. Eh? 